Today we're going to discuss, to discuss uh, do looks matter, does height matter, uh, does how much money in your bank account matter, uh, your education, does that matter, uh, does your race matter, do looks matter, do, do, does your appearance matter, does the colour of your skin matter, do, uh, how much you hit the gym, how many, mu you know, how jacked you are, does this matter. We're going to discuss this today, um, and it should be quite obvious. Um, but one thing I've noticed is that so many stupid students are picking pretty boys for coaches and uh, Most students I dare say most students uh, Have trouble with women and they're a little bit unattractive and, and it does make sense that you want to go get some coaching But if you pick a pretty boy that you want to be <laughs> uh, And that's one thing I've noticed is a lot of guys that will pick uh, some sort of pretty boy. That's a, a coach um because they want to be that person. How are you supposed to learn from someone who doesn't understand or is unable to empathize what it's like to be you and a little bit less attractive? Uh, and if they don't have the personal experience of being less attractive, how would they have the personal experience of having to overcome their lack of attractive, uh, attractiveness to try and get equally or even decent girls? Uh, they just wouldn't have the experience and therefore they would not be able to come up with ways for you to come over uh, to overcome uh, this adversity uh, which is quite obvious to me so uh, it's time to red pill you guys on something that should be obvious to anyone with an IQ of 10 <laughs> before we kick it off I'm Dave and this channel is dedicated to giving you no bullshit novel dating advice for the modern man but before we uh, get into it. Uh, I've also got a booklet that you can download for free. It is How to Build Courage in the Face of Adversity, which is quite relevant to this topic. So, do looks matter? Yes, looks are one of the most important things out there. Wakey wakey, your height matters, uh, your race matters, your cultural background matters, your socioeconomic status matters, the country that you come from matters. You come from a third world country and you move to New York and you try to pick up one of the Kardashians, it's probably not going to go too well for you unless you have some serious, damn serious game. Uh, your uh, education matters, uh, how much you hit the gym, whether you're jacked or not matters, your fashion matters, everything matters. <laughs> it's really, really important. Uh, and. I just thought that I'll bring this up and tell you guys how I try to overcome this adversity because one thing I have, which is a huge advantage over all other coaches out there, is that most coaches, uh, they get to my age because they've been pretty boys in their early 20s, they get to about 30 and then they start dying down or they just, uh, if they have a big enough audience are able to continue coaching but very rarely you see guys my age still approaching they quit they give up it's too hard and the reason why they quit and it's too hard at my age is because their game is shit and their strategies suck and because they're not able to keep up with people like me that analyze everything in detail and come up with ways to overcome them now uh, myself I'm I dye my hair I'm going on 40, and, and yes, I am, uh, I guess I, I am aware that moving into this uh, industry is going to be tough for me, but to me it's kind of obvious why I should be at 40 moving into this industry and coaching people, it's because I know what it's like to be that 21-year-old guy that, that could bench over 100 kilos, I uh, played number 10, playing rugby for a very long time, about 8 years. Uh, toured New Zealand, I faced the Haka. Uh, I was quite an attractive when I was quite attractive and quite jacked when I was younger. I used to surf and uh, did a bit of big wave surfing as well and uh, and uh, therefore it was quite quite easy, uh, especially in the nightclubs to meet women. Now, as I gradually got older and I'm almost 40 now, it is gradually becoming more and more difficult. Um, and I'm still gaming in a first world country competing with the same 21 year old guys. So guys 
when I was 21, I was competing with other 21 year olds. Every year I get older, there's a new little shit coming in uh, that's really good looking and pretty with zero game and just takes all the attention of all the girls. And so my game needs to step up. I need to come up with new strategies all the way to overcome that. Now, I was looking at this, at my hair. And the last uh, week and a half, I decided not to dye my hair and to test out how important uh, looks are. How important age is as well, because that's definitely relevant. And I, I'm about to dye my hair again, by the way. But the last uh, two weeks, I didn't dye it. And if you look closely, this is all grey. You can see it. It's all grey. Um, I don't know if you can see it too well on the camera, but this is all grey. The top has been dyed. If I didn't dye my hair, it would all be grey. I'd look like a grandpa. Um, I need to also dye my eyebrows as well, because they're white and grey. Um, uh, but what I've done over the last uh, week and a half, I ran a boot camp and was out there doing a lot of approaches, and I noticed that uh, a lot of girls, I would be looking them straight in the eye, and their eyes, when they're looking at, I'm looking straight at them, their eyes would do this, and they were looking at this, they were looking at the grey. Uh, and uh, my results over the last uh, two weeks, uh, two and a half weeks now, have been not very good. Uh, I've done quite a few approaches. Uh, I've got quite a few good reactions and got a few numbers. Uh, I've pulled a few girls and I only had uh, got one new lay uh, over the last two and a half weeks. Uh, day game of course, because that's what I focus on, it was a day game approach. Uh, but uh, I had pulled as well and it should have went uh, better than it did and I believe that this one little thing and, and you guys at home you're probably thinking oh it's not that important well you need an eye for detail when it comes to uh, meeting girls you need an eye, eye for detail they have an eye for detail so uh, if you're wearing a, a nice jacket you, you're looking quite good and then downstairs they look at your shoes and you have some dirty adidas sneakers on or something like that Girls are going to notice, and they're going to notice that this does not fit, uh, and there's something not right about you. If you don't have some nice leather shoes on, it's just not going to sit well with them, and that might be enough for you to be discounted. Uh, same as if they come into your bedroom, and um, your bedroom is a mess. You need an eye for detail and everything, and this grey, even the girl, that, the, girl, the girl that I pulled, she was, <laughs> it was... It was hard to have a conversation with her because I was talking straight to her and she kept looking up here. I miraculously was able to uh, get her home and make it happen, but um, this small little thing which you might think is irrelevant, is relevant. And uh, when you think about how to improve your game, you need to focus on the little 1% gains you can, you can make. Uh, small little incremental increases in your game will make a huge difference. Uh, so for instance, you work six days a week, you work 10 hour days. Uh, if, you, if you have to wait till Sunday and then you pump out five approaches on the weekend, uh, that's five approaches per week <laughs> um, over the course of a year. You know, uh, when, you, when you look at it, what is it, it's like 250 approaches, something like that. But what if you uh, were able to just do one extra approach per day before work, in your lunch break or after work. Just one measly little approach. Just one little approach. That would increase over the course of a year how many approaches that you, you did 20% or more, just even if you did it one day, but if you did it five days, it would literally double it. It would increase your approaches 100%. Um, think about the small little incremental increases that you can make. Uh, another, thing, another thing I'd like to mention when it comes to incremental increases, uh, it's just little one percenters. Uh, Novak Djokovic, one of the best tennis players in the world, um, when he was a no-name tennis player, uh, it was about 
uh, his uh, decision making. Uh, when he was in a, in a rally, uh, he was getting 49% of his decisions correct. Uh, and um, he was a nobody at that stage. When he increased his decision making to 51%, then he started making $5 million a year. Uh, then he increased his decision making to say 55%. These are only small 1, 2, 3% increases in making the correct decision during a rally. That's not including uh, his serve percentage, not, that's not the, uh, his uh, return percentage, that's not taking all the other things into account, but just making small little increases, 1% differences was the difference between him being a no-name tennis player and being number one in the world. And I want you guys to start thinking about how you can make those small incremental um, increases in your game and that's the same way I do mine. And I think this, this grey, what I'll do is I'll get back to you guys. I'm going to dye this uh, either tomorrow or, or first thing tomorrow morning. Uh, and then I will take note of the approaches that I make uh, for the next two weeks and I'll get back to you in the next two and a half weeks because um, and then find out uh, whether this has made a huge difference and I believe it will make a big difference and that's why I do dye my hair uh, and that's the difference between me and the other pro uh, coaches out there there's a lot of coaches there's coaches that work for RSD um, that are now running boot camps all over the place and some of them are, are, are married <laughs> You've got guys that are in long-term relationships for the last decade who are coaching you and are not out there in the field doing approaches. Uh, I'm doing approaches every day. So today uh, I made six, I believe. I got one number in an elevator. <laughs> uh, and uh, every day, making approaches, making the most of what days I have left on this earth. And that's what you guys should be doing out there as well. Uh, and I uh, hope this little bit of information has been useful to you i'm going to try and pump out daily videos i'm trying to pump that out it's very difficult at the moment but i'm going to try to continue making a lot of videos and uh, i think i have too much to talk about so i need to make daily vi videos just to get all my advice out um, if you like this video make sure you click the subscribe button and click the bell icon so you don't miss out on any future dating advice that i pump out um, don't forget the PDF. I've also got a Telegram group where you can join my community. Uh, and if you want to get some coaching with me, uh, I do provide one-on-one -on -one coaching. Uh, I think coaching needs to be catered to the individual because we're all different. And uh, dating and pickup is one of the most complex things on planet Earth. And that's why most people get it wrong. And that's why someone like me needs to step into this space because uh, it's a complex problem to solve and it needs to be personalized to each individual. So I've got a Google form that you can fill out. It's a two-step process. Uh, and if you're accepted, we can get on with some coaching. I'll see you guys in the next video.